Welcome to another edition of Focus Montreal, a rare treat on today's show. My next guest is one of my favorite Montrealers. Sheldon Kagan is a music promoter, DJ, trade show organizer, and, well, a real mensch who has brought some of the biggest names in the entertainment industry to Montreal for the past 40 years. And he joins me now. Hello. Hi. Is it okay if I call you a real mint? Yes. You are. My mother will be happy. <laughs> <laughs> she did well. I'm a mint. You are a mint. She did do well. They didn't always think you would do well. No, they were no, a little fearful a, with the long hair of you in the 40 a, years There's ago. a long history. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. But I'm having a time of my life even <laughs> after all these years. Yeah. 40 years in the industry. We have a whole bunch of pictures to share with our viewers of some of the, the, the highlight moments, starting with you at 13 years old. When What, what did your parents say when you said, oh, I'm going to be a DJ and uh, well, maybe they, promotes they, they weren't band. happy. They had other plans. You know, but in the end, my mom was really good. She said, look, you know, give it a try. Do whatever you got to do, and I'm going to support you. That's nice. And, huh? and I was happy with that. But, you know, I, I just wasn't happy with school. I, I just had this mission. I wanted to entertain people. I wanted to do parties. I wanted to go out there and have fun. What was the first uh, thing that you promoted in the city, the first band that you brought here, and how old were you when you were making well, that's that happen? Well, I actually, well, I started as a DJ, actually, when I was 14, and when I was 19, I formed Sheldon Kagan Productions, mm -hmm. which is now 40th anniversary, and December 11th, 1971, was my first show. I brought in uh, Buddy Rich, uh, excuse me, Dizzy Gillespie and Gene Krupa okay. at Place des Arts, and that was sold out, and then I did the Glen Miller Orchestra, and then Buddy Rich. And, and it, that was kind of interesting because the day before the show, I got a call from Buddy Rich's manager saying he just had a slip disc on Johnny Carson and he wouldn't be coming to Montreal. <sighs> so, ah, what do I do? Yeah. So we went to New York and found a replacement. And an unknown artist, artist at that time was George Benson. Okay. And we brought him to Montreal and the rest is history. You, I think you told me you stood up on stage and announced to the audience, you know, yeah, he's you not going to be here. refunds or stay. And, and uh, how old were you when this was happening? I was in my early 20s. Oh, my God. So it was like real culture shock quick. <laughs> so since then... I uh, uh, we have like uh, some some of the people that you brought to town. Tell me some of the big big names that you. Well, I had brought Delaney to... and Bonnie and Billy Preston, Ravi Shankar. Ravi Shankar, who's the father of Nora Jones, That's right? But you never really... met Nora. No, no, because I was probably just in her early days at that time. Yeah. He was a wonderful man. I brought in Miles Davis. Uh, really, really nice performers, and I used to get along with them. We used to pick them up at the airport, so it just became part of our way of life. Mm -hmm. You were this kind of long-haired hippie guy back then, weren't yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> I had to change. I met my wife uh, as a, at a Christmas party, and she said, well, before I can take you to meet my parents, you're going to have to cut your hair. <laughs> and I thought about it, and I, I cut my hair. <laughs> and you decided to cut your hair for Linda. Yeah. Uh, tell me some of the other Sheldon stories. I mean, you went from bringing in all these bands to uh, you started these trade shows. That was probably around the 70s, right? That's right. Uh, actually, this year will be the 30th anniversary of Salon de la Marie, which is my bridal show. Mm -hmm. And I started the bridal show really as a way to get more business from my entertainment company. And uh, I got a few hundred brides and uh, maybe 50 exhibitors. And now I'm drawing 175 exhibitors, and I'm getting eight to 10,000 people for the show. I have to tell you, uh, you know, do, just to, to, to let our viewers know that Sheldon was a household name in my house because my Uncle Jack was in the entertainment yep. industry, and his partner, Muriel, worked for you on she your bridal show. Way back, like... 25, 30 years ago. I remember. Uh, so when I was a little kid, Sheldon <laughs> Kagan, we used to talk about Sheldon at home, and he was like this famous guy who could do anything. They, Jack and Muriel oh, thought yeah. you could do anything, they by the really way. Good. And, and Jack was wonderful. He used mm. to, you know, to do parties for me, and he, you know, he, he actually taught me tennis. And he got me into tennis way back then, and now tennis is, is a major part of my and Linda's life. Big part of Jack. Jack was my favorite uncle, oh, yeah. and, and, and he was a terrific human being. And you took that tennis to Jamaica, and you take Linda and your kids there every year, yeah, right? Yeah, because I'm doing all kinds of parties in Jamaica. Uh, Barry and Marlene come with me, and Linda gets to play tennis while we work, of course. But that's mm -hmm. all right. And uh, so Jamaica's been really fun. I organize destination weddings for Canadians that want to get married in Jamaica. And I also perform as a guest DJ at special occasions for different companies and anniversary parties for different resorts. Mm. So it's 40 years is, you know, there's still a lot more in you, right? There's yeah, a lot more coming? we expanded. Four years ago, I started the Baby Boomer Show, and mm -hmm. Baby Boomers are an incredible generation in Canada. Last year, I started something called Salon Affair de Montréal, which is a business-to-business -business show. Mm -hmm. And in 2010, I'm going to do four of those. And they're going to be networking shows, and I think, you know, it's really good to get people out to meet other people to draw different business for their companies. Mm. So tell me why you stayed in Montreal, because I'm sure there was a time 
him with all these crazy... I mean, John and Yoko Ono were part of your entourage at one point. Yeah. There must have been a time at some point where someone said, move to New York, Sheldon. Why well, there was New York that? and Los Angeles and even Toronto, but Montreal's a great city. I mean, the people are wonderful. You can be... I'm in Dorval. I can be downtown in 20 minutes, barring traffic. I can be at the airport in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. It's it's a, it's just the people, the community, the sort of the, the joie de vivre. I mean, I love everything about Montreal. Great place to raise kids, too. Oh, it is, and the kids are doing really well. Yeah. Uh, Marlene is taking early childhood. Hopefully, she'll open a daycare next year. My son is at Dawson, and he's in community recreation leadership. So, and is he thinking about going into the family business? Yeah, he's talking about it and thinking about it. And I'm not sort of leaving it so quick. So yeah. he's coming in. Last week, we went to Toronto. We did a fabulous wedding together, me and Barry. And, mm -hmm. you know, there's so much, uh, you know, all kinds of activities. And there's so many people we worked for over the years. And that's what's nice. I'm in touch with many of them and with email, you know, and Facebook. And you can chat with people all the time. With everybody. How old is Barry now? Barry's going to be 21. So he's older than you were when you started in this That's it, because I was really 14 and then started the business at 19. And last week he said, well, since I'm turning 21 in November, I think it would be good, good idea for us to go to Vegas because I legally get into a casino. I said, oh my God, I can't believe you're saying that. I was thinking the same thing, Barry. We'll talk. You're going to take him gambling. <laughs> and then Marlene heard about that. She said, well, if he's going to Vegas, I want to go to Vegas. <laughs> we have very little time left, but I want to know, do you think Sheldon will be bringing back any big acts in the near future yeah. of the 40th anniversary? I, I don't know. I mean, basically, what I'm doing to celebrate the 40th anniversary is I'm putting me out doing parties. Okay. Parties. Okay. And we're out all over the place. So we'll watch for it. Thanks, Sheldon. Thanks a lot. Sheldon Kagan celebrating 40 years of entertainment in Montreal. We're done. We're out of time, as you could probably tell. Thanks for being with us, everyone. Take Take care. Have a good night.